Hello, welcome back to the podcast. My name is Corey Angelos. Nature's the answer. As you hear, there is rain outside, so enjoy that ambiance. But in the meanwhile, what we're going to talk about is actually simplicity. So simplicity is something that, well, in a complex world full of mass media and mass confusion, mass dieting, mass health information, mass everything at our fingertips, whether it's being used or not, even if it is being used, it might not be used righteously and we might run into things that we don't want to. It's important that, yes, we do find simplicity within all this matter. In fact, yes, if you want to understand the world, it is complex, but we can bring it down to simple understandings. And oftentimes, you'll find yourself, if you do go down these rabbit holes, the best way to look at this is really this broader, bigger perspective. Not just this bigger picture, but the more common sense that we can make of it. So, you know, it's simple things like opening the mind. Simple things like opening the door to someone. Simple things like morality. Simple things like getting a blender, simple things like adding in healthy foods that you know are healthy back into your diet and more of it into your diet, okay, more plants in general, okay, more water, it's just hard to ask, it's simple things that yes, you can make actionably through time and that's the only hard thing you have to do, but the simple thing is just the one step at a time, it doesn't have to be all at once, Another reason why diets fail, and I talk about that previously, but it's important to note that in our world we feel like we have to do so much at this one time or be so specific and have this belief system oriented to doing one thing and having one set belief system based on one thing. And that if you are this, you believe in that. Nonsense. Because as simple as that sounds, it's not that simple. It's actually simpler than that. And that is the fact you shouldn't title yourself. You just are and your actions explain who you are. Show yourself through action. So take those small little action steps at a time and you'll see not just greater health but greater prosperity in general. Simplicity will do it. Okay, so like you take a look at uh, researchers, right? I, I talk about Mark Passio often. I really appreciate what he does. And I think it's as simple as sitting down and actually listening to at least some bit, you know, in the beginning, of course, because you shouldn't just skip to some random part and expect to be happy with it when his works are meant to be consumed within their entirety, and he even says that. And uh, even when he gives out, let's say, a good 30-minute intro disclaimer about how um, you shouldn't judge people in the information they present by the way they look. Well, yeah, you should judge them by the information that is at hand. See, simple things like that, and simple things like showing what how to learn in general in a school. Simple things like, well, having options in med- medicine and, and healthcare. Simple things that become overlooked, frankly, uh, as you see in my video called The Food World Order. Those simple things are often so we are oblivious to. We just don't accept them. Uh, we refuse to see them, either by ignorance or it not being there, but let's face it, most of it is ignorance. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate Mark Passio and his work. I think it needs to be recognized. And why am I saying, pointing to somebody saying his their work needs to be recognized? Because it does. And as simple as it is, how hard is it for you to listen to someone with a truly open mind and actually just listen for once, instead of spewing nonsense and so you may say oh well that's what i'm doing right now and of course yes i'm i'm speaking my mind but are you is the question okay well what my motive here is not actually to tell you anything it's actually to get you to do something to get you to tell yourself in a way because see with the message of this channel it doesn't just abide to natural law which smart pastor is the only teacher of which is also why i promote him well, one of the best ones, I would say, and the best ones that were uh, philosophies based on our world. But 
you know, and there's also others, of course, um, like Max Eigen and David Icke, you can look into these people. I think they're all great voices, and in fact, we shouldn't all have to just keep uh, pushing our voices either, ironically, and start listening to those who present the information really well. Um, because, let's face it, they do. He specializes on natural law for a reason, just like how I specialize in natural medicine or trying to understand similar aspects, I would say, um, but using more poetic senses, using different forms of art, right? Because everybody has a different way of portraying information and creating a different perception and uh, helping people get to the truth, okay? It's, it's, it's a matter of effort between a whole bunch of peoples doing a whole bunch of things with a whole bunch of projects, with a whole bunch of different ways of delivering the information. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, that should be encouraged, Right, and it's one of the things that I'm a little critical of when it comes to this truth movement, if you may say, you know, uh, is the fact that we need to make it more actionable ourselves to do this and really bring people to the truth. And unless you know what the truth is, I mean, I guess it would be hard for you to understand how we even get that in the first place. But if we know what it is and we know how to get it, we need to find a way to bring it to the mass scale. And it does start with you. It starts with me. It starts with everybody. But don't wait on us and don't be dependent on us. Okay? You can do things within your own life right now and if you know that you're not part of the problem, then the problem will cease to exist if everybody knows that they're doing the right thing. But the problem is if people think they're doing the right thing or they just don't care in general. Right, because there is much as an illusion as it is in our society, being that there is so much. So simplicity, 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 common sense. As uh, David Ralph Waldo said, or was it Henry David Thoreau, either one of the transcendentalists, of course. I always recommend people look into their works if they like. But, uh, you know, I figured to make the podcast because of the rain ambiance. I think it's very, very nice uh, to do this sort of thing because it's like expression, all this this not i want to say pain suffering or anger building up especially with the virus around but all this force going into the universe from our thoughts from our ideas everything just goes into this world here and it ex- it's expressed upon us because nature reacts right so although nature doesn't have feelings the truth does not care at all about your feelings trust me uh and, you know, I say, trust me, that's actually a bad thing to say, frankly, because you should probably look into, like I said, what truth really is. And it just is, frankly, that is the truth. Uh, so don't take it from me. And, uh, you know, when I say my little phraseologies, don't get disillusioned by it either. But uh, I, my key here is to get you thinking anyways. So if that's what I'm doing, then I know I'm accomplished. If I get you to be motivated and create some action, then I know I'm accomplished. That is the two main things we ought to see, especially in a movement like this that I consider nature's the answer as a movement for promoting nature in a society of denaturement, for promoting nature in a society of technology, frankly, right? But that's that's the world we live in, see? Is... Uh, people don't know what is nature and what isn't and it's becoming more oblivious however within the few it's becoming more obvious because they see how everybody else is ignorant and how everyone else refuses to see this information for example so being that time is one of those restricting boundaries for ourselves itself uh we need to see and look into these things that could actually impact our lives more than we think. And that includes food, that includes thought, love, right? Because we don't always take the time out necessary to do it. If it grows of importance and of need, then it just shows you we need to look at something. And the universe tells us that, right? So the universe may not have feelings, but if you work with the universe, the universe will work with you. So although it's not going to save you from falling off a cliff necessarily, uh, you working with the universe and knowing that there's a cliff there, well, that'll help you. And I know Mark Pascio uses similar... um, 
you know, trends and patterns like that too. And I appreciate that. I think that's really important because if we didn't, we would not be able to create this common sense that we have, which is connecting the dots. And so connecting the dots is not only something I do in this YouTube channel, but something I encourage you to do within your personal life. Like, why is it this person did this? Why is it that this person's angry at me? Why is it that this happened in, at my work? You know, why is that? Because we know all these things affect people's health, too. Okay, and we know that this comp- this is what consists of your life. This is what could also potentially compromise your life if you don't know certain things or certain potentials or certain things that could happen if as a result of you being ignorant or you not acknowledging it, right? So that's exactly what natural law often is. In natural medicine, is showing its ground as well when people are in a collapse scenario or survival or dependent right because they start to see well wait i need to become independent well wait i need to start taking care of my own health it starts to send to them but like i said people get hurt first and what we want to do here is create the least amount of harm and what we are doing anyways is the most amount of harm uh between government and what it's doing to people bombing and sterilization of vaccines and a whole bunch of other stuff okay they're creating a race war they're creating a mind war where you're supposed to choose this side or that side in politics uh and again same thing for dieting it's important because nobody in the health field is going to connect those dots when it comes to life in as a whole i mean i talk about this extensively but nobody in the health field talks about <clears throat> bringing all these aspects together and it's not that i'm expecting them to because clearly i'm doing it right now and so maybe that's something i can do especially if i believe i have a lot to offer there but <clears throat> you know i could use some help people can help each other for once you know instead of just doing their own thing and thinking that that's that's good and substantial for this life it's just nonsense so I'm asking you to have a purpose, have have a passion. And I talked about that in my previous podcast, but the truth is it's got to be simple. You know, keep it simple. Stupid. No, I'm just kidding, but keep it simple. Because what is wrong <clears throat> with making something that seems rather hard to understand, hard to digest, make it much simpler, right? Adding enzymes, adding water, adding fiber. There you go, better digestion, right? Simple as fixing digestion is going to help your health so much, being that it is the root to all evil, as said by Hippocrates. And then what about fixing the gut? You can fix the gut too, okay? And again, it doesn't have to be all at once. Maybe you want to do a gut cleanse one one week. Next week, you want to do a digestive aid and see, see how it works, right? And do it through food, you know, non-invasively as possible. Add it gradually in. Again, not all at once either that way. So just one at a time, or building your way up, building tolerance. And again, the same thing can apply to anything else. So simple little steps at a time. And if you have a hard time and you see that you're in a very complex situation and you don't know how to get out of it, that's why you need a coach with you or somebody who can help guide you through that situation and keep it simplified down for you. Keep it to where you can say to yourself, well, yes, this is what I can do, and this is my options, and this is what's happening, and this is how I'm going to react, right? But if you're just too confused and you don't know what to do, you could get hurt. You, you might Something might happen, right? And you don't know what would happen because you failed to diagnose the problem, just like in medicine. So if you want to prevent and if you want to treat... The key that I'm presenting here in this podcast is simplicity. And there's nothing wrong with that as simply being in nature itself is healing within itself. Okay? It's not thinking about a research paper and doing a whole scientific study. You know, what's what what's your purpose in doing that anyways? Yeah, you may love it. You might like that. I like doing it too, frankly. But what 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 are you what's your end goal? What do you expect to get from it? That's the question. Right, and I think well, it might come down to happiness, it might come down to fertility, it might come down to being married, okay, simple things that have held their time through all of time that we know to be true, 
is something that we can promote. Simple little things make a big difference. I mean, have you not heard that phrase before? So next time you jump into something, whether it be your health or whatever, think about how you can break it down simply. And your mind might start going to those, those better answers right away. Okay, that could, that could be true. Right? You might think of a very complex situation and start to understand it immediately. But that's because you created common sense. So ironically, simplicity can help you understand complexity through time. But do make sure you take out all those barriers in a way. You know, the years of barriers that Mark Pasch had to go through, the same that I had to as well. Um, except less for me, being that I started off a little younger. So that means I also have less to say on the topic. And I think it's as simple as what's wrong with believing in these innate truths. It's not even believing. It's just accepting. It's just using them, bringing them into our lives as they are intended, as they are already here. And if we can't do that, then we're failing to just be who we are. We're failing to just, whether you're religious or not, I mean, we're failing to fulfill the creator's desires simply by not abiding with nature so nature as a whole looking at it as a word looking at it as a perspective as a feeling as a as understanding something deeper as being outside whatever it may be it's something that i promote on this channel for that reason is it helps us think and the end goal is not necessarily to be stuck in this web of mass information and mass dis discussions that go on for hours, but to actually do something actionably, which often means keeping it simple and often means not getting too confused. So seeing the bigger picture, which is one picture, which is keeping it simple, even though there's many pixels in that picture. Okay. And of course, there's other pictures on other walls great we see more pictures but then if we combine all these pictures we see an even bigger picture now again you know it's how far you want to see this how far do you want to see this that's the question you must ask in your own life how far is it that you will do what you do without being conscious of it or do what you do without checking in with yourself it's important that you do or just have that simple guide with you simple tools that you know are going to help you it's the message at hand is just simplicity and that's why i'm not going way too much into death with this podcast because there isn't much more to say the truth just is in simplicity well in the very nature it just is so common sense let's find it but take action steps simply one at a time thank you very much this is Corey Edmund Angelot nature's the answer thank you and goodbye